Well done to him and a royal presence here. William Haggis is having a conversation with the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. Of course, Her Majesty the Queen not made it to the races today. We are still holding out hope that she may come along for one day, potentially tomorrow, but the flag being flown, so to speak, by Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. And they couldn't be speaking to a trainer in much better form, could they? Because William Haggis with a brilliant bide yesterday and he'll be hoping that the good run continues. Perfect alibi, of course, owned and bred by Her Majesty the Queen, who won this Queen's Vars with estimate in 2012. And Kevin, you and I were having a little chat earlier on on social media about this race. It's really upped in class in the, in the last few years. Um, and I might take a small backward step here, uh -huh. <laughs> to be brutally honest. Um, I don't think, look on paper, we don't know until the race is run. There's quite few unexposed ones that could take a big jump up, but in terms of the evidence we have on paper right now, it would seem to be a below par renewal. If Elder, Elder Alf comes out and wins by 10 lengths, you know, that changes. But right now, they, 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 a few, many of these need to step up to be group two level. But as mentioned, a few of these have certainly have the potential to do that. Um, Elder, Elder Alf, chief among them, impressive on debut. Um, impressive at Newcastle last time in a race that's working out really well and we're, we're going to see that form um, on show a couple of times this week um, but he did the job very well now it's a big step up and trip it's a bunchy call to come here and um, one assumes connections were looking for the, the easiest spot for him um, and look they may well have found it in terms of the group races they would have had all sorts of options handicaps or yeah. other stakes races so it wasn't for lack of choice they've made a very deliberate move to come here they must be confident that he'll say, but it's a big call. We had the stat, didn't we, yesterday about Dubawis and Ascot. And the round track, yeah. And, and so, you know, this, this lad, he, he ticks that box. He was a very expensive purchase as a two-year-old as well. Yeah, I believe he might be named after an MMA fighter. He which is. Might, which might be a first. You're very, very well informed. <laughs> it could well be a first, couldn't it? He is indeed named after an MMA fighter. We'll see if he can deliver the knockout blow very shortly. He's currently five to two favorite then for our Queen's Bars, an unexposed horse, potentially an exciting one, and an unbeaten one to boot. We'll be having a look at his rivals when we come back from the break.